gonna kill all my cameras and then kill me. No. All the last things it said were throw, kick, shot, all things you wanna hear from an elemental negative entity. I'm sorry makes me think that something not great is gonna happen to me tonight. I'm gonna close my eyes. Whatever images you wanna put into my head, I will do my best to see them. So this sucks right now. Elton, you idiot. Do not attach yourself to me. Go further. Ah, there better be a f bug bite on my neck when I check. It was so real, I started crying. And that is not something I do often. Why do I feel like I'm about to lose all of my lights while I'm in here? <laughs> I'm struggling to find the camera that disappeared. It's all dying. It just dropped down to one bar. Although I am sure you're not gonna be very happy about me trying to help free a spirit from here. And you said you take souls. You consider demons to be your children. Every time I do these types of places, the heavier ones, it hurts like hell. Before this video begins, there are a few incredibly important things to me, at least that I'd like to share with all of you. First of all, one, it's my birthday. That's cool. The second thing is I'm also in Argentina right now. We're filming for TFIL, traveling to every country in the world in alphabetical order. This is the Eden Hotel, haunted by Nazis. Also unrelated. The main thing that I really want to talk to you about is this video in particular is the one that genuinely from every part of my body, head to toe, psyche, thought process, all of it, forced me, I won't even say made me, it forced me to believe. You'll see as this video goes on exactly what happens and it just made it impossible for me to try and deny it any longer, which I believe is long overdue. With that being said, there are a few things that are going to happen in this video that if you haven't seen the earlier parts may seem a little uh, insane. So if you haven't seen those first few parts, you might benefit greatly from watching those before this, but if not, you know, enjoy the video anyway, and you'll just think I'm an absolute insane person. But from the bottom of my heart, I really want to say thank you to everyone that has watched this Okigahara series. It's, it's, I put everything I possibly had into it, and so did the entire team. With all that being said, everyone has asked us to release new merch, which we have done. Brand new merch box, a July box, heavily themed around Japan. The hoodie is absolutely the best quality we have ever made. It's custom dye, it's embroidered. Every single hoodie is completely unique to each other. And again, of course, I do everything I can to make sure that these are the most affordable merch boxes you can ever get. I wanna make sure that if you wanna support the channel, I'm doing everything I can to make it as affordable and get you guys cool gear or cool gifts. If you want to grab a box it helps a lot with the channel literally every single box that we sell all of that money just goes back into the next series the next videos with all of that being said thank you all so much um, for supporting this channel and allowing this return to Gigahara be what it is and I'm excited to share with you everything we have filmed for TFIL yes A to Z does mean we did Afghanistan that was the very first one Albania, Angola, Algeria, Andorra, Antigua, whatever. There's a lot of A's coming up. Australia, all of it. You get the idea. It's a seven-year project that's happening on that channel. Without further ado, enjoy the final part. Part five, me alone, nearly getting murdered in a Gigahar forest. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Overnight Channel. We are, of course, at a Gigahara forest. I'm completely by myself right now. And I'm gonna be completely honest, I am not excited to do this at all. I don't really want to, but I feel like this is something that I need to, not only personally, but additionally for the channel as a paranormal investigator and just the way things have gone the last few nights. And of course, if you have seen the last two nights, you know what I've already dealt with. Night one was just hor horrible, horrible pain. Getting confirmation that it was this forest, these entities doing it to me. Last night, the threats and my challenging of the demonic entity that is this forest that brought me to tears last night. And I tried to kind of recoil that emotion and just go through the rest of the night without really showing it, but without any doubt, it, it affected me because I wanna see if I can actually get some kind of an answer or better understanding or evidence as to how what has happened these last two nights was ever possible. Knowing that it's just me here and no one else means that anything that happens is directed at me. Apologies in advance if 
anything I say or do comes off as jokey. I am uh, by no means trying to be disrespectful. I'm just scared. And I'm sure some of you have noticed by now that during this Japan series, there's someone important to the channel that hasn't been in the videos. It's Corey. He has decided to not be a part of this Japan series uh, and indefinitely has decided to not be a part of this channel. Not my choice. I am uh, not very happy about how that was told to me. When I come back here tonight, I'll address all of that because I want there to be full transparency with everything, nothing but honesty about what happened and even right now talking about it, I can feel kind of the uh, unhappiness, let's call it that, building in my body. We've made a few videos in the past where we said if we had 150,000 likes on it, I would come back to Side Forest alone. We never got close to that. I'm doing this, I'm here tonight by myself because I want to prove to all of you that I care sincerely about this channel. Yes, I go on record as saying I choose to be a skeptic even though I've had all of these monumental things happen to me. I'm not naive to that, but that is part of how I do this. That's how my brain works, so that way I can try and figure out things. It, that's just how I am. I enjoy doing this. I love making these videos and going to these places and learning about them and doing so with my friends and seeking out answers and sharing these experiences with you. So tonight is not only about me seeking out more answers, what's happened to me here in the last 48 hours, but it's about showing all of you how much I care about this channel and that I will always give you 110% of every single thing that I have to make sure that we are doing the best videos we possibly can. And that's a motion activated light. So I'm gonna pop this on and we're gonna get going. I'm wearing a heart rate monitor tonight. It's a chest monitor. It is a not Bluetooth wireless, just a little small one with a chest mount on it. And uh, we have that as well. This is very hard to see. So again, audio gun. Here's everything in rain. You can turn it up. Just get out of the shade for a little bit here. Okay. Back in the forest. So the objective for me tonight is to get further in to basically where we were leaving off last night. The one thing we've learned over the last Two nights here is that as you go further in, the energy, the power, the spirits, whatever it is that it could be or can be or all of the above only grows stronger as we get further towards the cave system area, the area where everything is roped off and where uh, people are typically found so I really just want to focus all of my energy there let's just listen in for a second here
so insane. Now I hear normally, now it's supercharged. Hello again. I promised you I would be back tonight by myself. As you can see, I've kept my word. I've honored my promise. I know you can hear me no matter where I am in this forest. I even think you know everything I'll do tonight. You predicted everything to a T. Almost as if you wrote our fate. So whatever it is that you have in store for me tonight, I do hope you're willing to give me some form of more concrete or clear answers as to how you exist, what you feed upon, what your purpose is. Any of those answers would be incredibly appreciated. I know I challenged you last night. Part of me would like to think I regret it, but I'm not. Because you showed me something that I never thought possible. You were able to put an image of reality into my eyes that did not exist. It was so real, I started crying. And that is not something I do often. So I will not challenge you tonight. I don't need to do that anymore. I kindly ask that we can have a conversation. I was told by someone that I apparently have a little bit of a bond with the dark side, with the demonic. I have a little friend over my shoulder. And that's why I feel so comfortable in these types of places. So maybe we can use that bond and that connection to communicate tonight. Although I think everything I just said, you already knew I was going to say. Okay, the audio gun has had nothing so far. In night one, it was immense amount of feedback. The thing is, we all think all the power comes from the earth and the ground and it's just soaking up water. Water is life, life is energy. So the longer I'm in here and the more it rains, the more powerful it's going to be. rolled an ankle. That would absolutely be terrible if I rolled an ankle here tonight. And I have to limp out of this. Oh boy. <sighs> Please don't let me have it. That would be awful. That's my own footsteps. That was my own footsteps in the mud that scared the sh** away. Okay. I feel like the mic is null and void here. Nothing on it. Worth trying though. Gonna put this right here. Now that goes there. I don't want to mark the tree it's at. Guess who who here is really gonna show up? Okay. Now I know that's there. on okay spirit talkers now back on k2 is already spiking immediately i turned back on your favorite device i could see that you're here I can already sense your energy right here
Can I ask one favor tonight? Can you try not to hurt me? I had a good life. You had a good life. Why are you saying that in the past tense? What did you do in your life, in your existence, that made it good? Or is a good life to you mean bringing harm to others? Let me rest. Let you rest. I'm more than happy to. I promise you. I will leave you alone. Stop asking questions. And opening up these lines of communication with you. If you can just provide a few answers. Can we make that work? Hazel. That's my eye color. Hazel. Are you referring to my eyes? And the way you were able to communicate with me last night? I, I, I don't know how to explain this, but I never get back pain in real life, like regular, everyday, normal life. You can watch hundreds of TFIL videos and you'll never see Help. me have back pain every time I do these types of places, the heavier ones, it hurts like hell. What are you implying about hell? Are you directly connected to it? That's what we've been asking. Is this forest truly rooted deep into hell? We can see that the trees are rooted into volcanic rock just stem to the caves, stem to the magma. House. House. Hell. House. Hell house? Hell house. This is a hell house. Is this a home for the demonic? Is this where demons come to live? above the surface of Earth? Can you move location? Yes. I'm glowing closer to the caves. I'm going closer to the portal that we opened last night as well. We left it open for a reason, by the way. Because we believe it was allowing spirits to escape from here, the positive ones. The ones that should have never been drawn here in the first place. That would make so much sense if this forest is a literal hell house. Home on the, on, on the surface of Earth that has a direct connection, if you think literally, to the demonic, to the below. And this is where they can come to pull in souls. This forest has like so much history and mythology and legend, folklore, factual basis, whatever you want to refer to it as, for drawing people in here, luring them Hi, in. Not everyone. Not everyone.
And that would also make sense why everywhere we were looking on night one, the SLS was constantly popping up figures. They were just all throughout. And we were originally thinking it was, you know, the resting place of people who had lost their lives here. But those could have just been actual demonic entities as every step went on. And this right here, I think right about here, is where I saw like, what I'm referring to as the lady in white. Basically stood directly in front of us to stop us from going any further. Do any of the demonic entities here want to share what you did? What created you? How did you become an evil entity? Were you once a human? Were you once an angel? Elric. Derelict? Doesn't, doesn't derelict mean like broken down? Encrypted? Back to where we left last night. Immediately going to red. Immediately going to red as we walk in, and rain's now picking up. Come on, breathe, dude. The reason why this area is kind of has that warning sign is now the cave system starts kind of popping up a bit more. Here. What's your name? My name is Elton. You must have not been here these last two nights. So, it's nice to meet you. I think. Hopefully it will be nice to meet you. What's your name? This is where we did the ritual. Right here. This is the portal that we opened up. That took six and a half hours to do, I think. Still going on. Do you know what this is right here? Is this a portal? I threw something. You threw something the first night? Was it I remember the first night. That's how we knew that you could understand us. That it didn't matter what language we spoke. You threw our camera. That still doesn't mean I know your name. Is anyone able to come in or out through this area? Get away from here. Am I blocking anyone from leaving? Can you tell me? Are you trying to protect me? Telling me to get away from here that way? Are you telling me to get away from here? Because I'm blocking your path. I'm sorry. For what? Everything I've learned about this forest is that it already knows what's gonna happen to me. I'm sorry makes me think that something not great is going to happen to me tonight. It's apologizing in advance. Falling on markers again. Would you mind just telling me now what's going to happen later? 
are we keeping it a surprise? Uh, as I was saying, literally this morning, we left here having marked red tape everywhere, which is what this is, because Evan and Jerry found a campsite pretty elaborate campsite. It looked like it had been there for a few months. Yes, I did. And uh, the eggs were expired in January, early January, which makes us think that in December is when it was from holiday season. And we did call it in. We told them everything we can. Um, they said thank you. And uh, that's kind of where we left it. So I'm not going back to that area. We obviously do not want to find anyone. That is not the goal of being in here whatsoever to disrespect anyone's. Yes, I did. So we're gonna obviously leave that for the people that are responsible for clearing this area and checking it. But again, as a reminder to everyone here, I'm just here seeking answers in regards to the spirit realm. I'm only here as a paranormal investigator. Something's wrong. Yeah. Yeah, something is wrong. Thank you. This is where I started getting sick last night. It's happening again. Uh, okay. Died very recently. Died very recently. Yes, I did. As we were talking. As we, as I was talking about campsite. I can't ignore that. I can't ignore that. I can't ignore that. Okay. I'm not going to go to the campsite, but I will go closest to the area. Martha. Martha. Hello, Martha. I'm so sorry. First. Attached. Attached. Martha, I am truly so sorry that you, you endured the sadness that you did that brought you here. But please, I'm asking you, do not attach yourself to me. Go further. Martha, please, don't. Doing so will not help you, will not help me. I can understand. I can understand being alone and lonely and wanting to cling to someone. Is there some other way I can help you? Could you tell me how to help in a different way? Can we, can we compromise? Just crawl. Just crawl? Go further, just crawl. Can we make a compromise? 
You can stay with me tonight. Use my energy. Whatever it is that you need to talk, to communicate. And during this night, you can attach to me. But before I leave, you have to tell me how to help you. Floating. Okay. You have to tell me how to help you so we can set you free. I actually have purifying spray on me. It's from all of the holy waters, all the sacred waters throughout Japan. It was given to me by someone who's a healer, a positive energy worker. If at the end of the night, maybe we can join hands together and I can spray the purification at the exit, right at the border, not here, because doing it here I don't think would work. And that can set you free. Let's do that, okay, Martha? Yep. Join me as much as you'd like tonight, Martha. But I do need to let you know. I am trying to speak to something dark here. I don't want anything to happen to you, anything worse. See. See. Okay, you see what I'm trying to do? It stopped. It literally stopped. As I warned her. I'll come back, Martha. And we'll walk out of here together, okay? plan tonight was to light these candles again, but I don't know how that's going to be possible. Is this where it happened to me? Yeah. This is it right here. This is as far as I made it last night. This is exactly where... Coffin torture. Coffin torture. Oh, great. Oh, great. This is exactly where I saw something and then I started getting nauseous. And I started feeling terrible and I could barely walk out. Great. I'm not here to challenge you tonight. Wrong area. Wrong area. Should I go further? I haven't been any further into the forest than this. I'm on a clear path. Oh, man. Clear path. My biggest fear really is just coming across someone. I might need to edge. Edge. This does nothing in this forest. This little light does absolutely nothing in here. I'm gonna have to watch the battery on this because I actually did not bring a second one of these lights and that is probably one of the dumbest things I could have done. Go to the edge of the forest. <laughs> I worked here. You worked here? Oh. This 
they worked here means they were in here often. And I'm sure over time, the forest can start to get in your head. What was your job here? String. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Uh. It's so hard to concentrate on the investigation when I'm also trying to concentrate on my surroundings. Why does it feel like ever since I pieced together the Hell House questions, all of that stopped? It really is so hard. Music. Music, okay. Um. I don't know what song this is saying right now. That would not feel incredibly disrespectful. So can I just hum? I'm assuming, Martha, that's you asking for some music. Mmm. Mmm. Give you power? I haven't marked anything in a while. Oh, it seems clear for now. Oh Jesus. My singing is absolutely atrocious. I feel like I'm probably one of those like American Idol contestants that thinks they sound somewhat okay, and then you realize you are terrible. Do you need more power? More singing? Prayer? You heard me. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Sing. More power. You heard me. Okay. Da 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 more ribbon right there I am getting so scared I don't like what I'm doing tonight but I have to do it because I care and I will sing to the demons so they may scream so they may come and torment my dreams dreams I found more ribbon here it's bringing more and more fear and I hope that this end is not near I don't know what to do but I hope it's with all of you because if I don't upload this video it means I died this is the edge
This is the edge, right? Or do I have to go further? Fortune. I think this might be a good place to post up because we're now officially. Oh, it does keep going. Whispers beckon. Whispers beckon again. I've heard that like four times across four different devices. I'm gonna post up here. I think for even the sake of my head and this helmet. Where do I have enough? Shade. Uh, from the Emma. Emma. Why Emma? Okay. I guess it's a 360 camera, so it won't Doesn't need to be perfect. It's not me. It's an interesting thing to say. Uh, what you're about if you're warning me that what's about to happen isn't you Martha okay I'm ready for it this is what I said I was coming here to do Where did the other body camera go oh no oh no Oh no, I think I lost a body camera. Wait, wait. Wait, what the f They cl- I How the f did I lose a body camera? How the f how the f did I lose a body camera? Oh no. The only thing I can think struggling. of struggling. Yeah, I'm struggling to find the camera that disappeared. I would have heard it drop. The only thing I can think of is it said I'll throw something. And the very first night I had a body camera thrown and I was asking who it was. And then my body camera. Oh eyes you're taking away my eyes my evidence or are you saying you're gonna show something to me in my eyes again well I am absolutely bewildered how the actual hell Tattoos. Oh shit. Yes, I have tattoos. And I know that's a, a sign here. Typically you're not supposed to have tattoos unless you are in a gang. I am not in one. All of my tattoos have positive meaning. One for my dog. When I hit a Milestone on a YouTube channel. It was a very cool moment for me. Another one for fun, a great enthusiastic memory. All others are from Margaret. Trips. C. C again. What does this mean, C? What does that mean? That's the third time. You want me to close my eyes? And like, C? Do you want me to channel you? Like, I don't... Last night you could put an image into my head at will. Should I try and do this intentionally? Can you put energy into this box? You are able to do it last night. You just tap it, put enough energy into it. To give me confirmation, that's what you want me to do. 
I'm gonna try something I have never tried before. I was sick. I have honestly, as far back as I can remember, do not believe I have ever tried using dowsing rods. And I think that would be a better way to start than just closing my eyes and seeing what I see. I was religious. I'm gonna close my eyes. Whatever images you wanna put into my head, I will do my best to see them. Suicide. I won't let you put that image into my head. No. I know that's what you want. I know that's what you do. That thought is not allowed in my head. He pushed. Yeah. One of your demon roommates are here in this hell house pushed a little too hard. I'm here to talk, I'm here to listen, I'm here to communicate and let you channel through me, but that is not one of the thoughts you'll be putting into my head. Understood. I'm not challenging you. This is an agreement that we made together. I came from a dark place. Yeah. I came from a dark place. Is that how you were created? These rods, if you can point them in, that's a yes. Outward is a no. Were you created? Immediately went to no. The spider was attached to me. Four. Were you a human? No. I've never done these before. And this is actually bizarre. Were you a demon? Or are you a demon? Are you just demonic? What would be below a demon? Are you a negative entity? Okay. Not choose. A, not a demon. You're a negative entity. And you choose. You chose to be a negative entity. Did you do that so you could live on and be immortal? choose to be a demonic entity, a negative entity, so that you could bring harm to others. Did you bring harm to others in life? You weren't human. chose to be a negative entity so you could bring harm to others. But you are not a demon. Do you have a physical form? Josephine. Can you be seen? Is there a shape to describe you? Are you behind me? Can you point in the direction where you are existing? Can 
Can you point to me and tell me where you are? You are in one direction, go that way. Or if you are everywhere, spin the rods around. Can you spin the rods around fully? I'm not sure if you're behind me, in front of me. Can you clarify, please? Damage. That was around. I literally did that to dig my- I like it here. I did that to dig my feet deeper and connect deeper into the ground. That didn't happen for me stomping. You are a negative entity. You are all around. You are the forest. That has been our thought for the last few days. Do you know where your energy stems from? Does it come from Earth? Is the core of Earth, the heat, the movement of the plates, the elements beneath us, does that create your energy? Help me. Don't know how if I don't know what you are. Cross for yes. Your energy is coming from the Earth itself. Be negative. Your energy comes from Earth itself. The top. Good job. Straight. Do you feel as though you have purpose? Do you have intent? Do you do things like by, by choice? Okay, you do things by choice. You're self-aware, you know you're a negative entity. You do things by choice. You are not demonic. you're not heaven, you're not hell. Demons are a construct of, of religion. You are older than religion. That would make sense. You are older than religion. Religion is a human construct. The earth came way before. Okay. So you are well beyond. That's why you're not demonic. Is that correct? Have you existed long before religion and before humans? Here. Here. That thought has never crossed my mind. We always believe it's a demon or a negative entity, but we think of it as a, as a spirit, a, a human form, or, or a demon. But this is just... House. And this is a house. This is the house that you have built on Earth as a negative entity. And by entity, it's not, I think of an entity as a single, single unit, a single person, but this is an, an entity. This is something so much bigger. Okay. You are older than humans, older than religion. I snatch the soul. You know what a soul is, and again, a soul is something well before us. Is the devil real? Is there such a thing as 
the demonic. That's a stronger yes than this. So the devil is real. He made a bond with the devil, with the underworld, to allow this to be a place for those demonic beings to live on earth. Are you the devil's landlord? Have you given these demons permission to exist on earth here? Children around you. Oh, sh You consider demons to be your children. the devil himself one of your children facts facts you are the father you consider them your children I have no basis of knowledge right now for what this could even be. I've never allowed myself or gone down any trails of thought or research about the demonic beyond hell, beyond the devil, beyond Satan. I've never considered it. Like, yes, elementals, but I've always considered even them. This would be an elemental? Do you know what an elemental is? I know it as a force rooted in earth, a power created by earth. That's, that's what I know it as. Is that what you see an elemental as? Yes, okay. You know what an elemental is, which means now you would know if you are one. Heal. Heal. Do you consider elementals to be your children? Are you an elemental? All of it makes sense. We came in with the theory. Don't antagonize. I'm not antagonizing. I did that last night, I won't do it again. Ah. 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 There better be a bug bite on my neck when I check. That better have been a fucking bug. I'm not going to antagonize. I'm learning, trying to understand. No fucking way. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. They're all gonna die. Oh no. Uh. No. I'm gonna run out of cameras. No, 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 this is not what's gonna happen right now. No, you're not gonna kill all my cameras and then kill me. No. No, holy, I know these last eight hours, they've made it all the way through. 
No, I'm not gonna trip. Okay. My favorite place. Yeah, I know, I know. How, how, how are you dying? How are you dying? How? You're... I'm turning it off to save the cliffs. I'm now out of body cameras. And you're going in my back pocket. That light's gonna die too. Oh. Why do I feel like I'm about to lose all of my lights while I'm in here? I'm sorry, but I'm gonna get lost in here. And I, if I recall, I literally said as soon as I get answers, I would leave. I got my answers. They said don't antagonize. And I know firsthand we ran six body cameras last night. They last eight hours, no problem. Rain doesn't matter, they're waterproof. I'm not trying to be a right now, guys. I promise you that. That is not what's happening. I just don't actually want to be lost in this forest. And I made a deal. Said when I got answers. That would be it. And I have a weird feeling that is about to die too. Love that. One battery. Throw. Throw? I'm not throwing up. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Kick. Throw and kick. No. It's all dying. It just dropped down to one bar. Thank you for the answers. I understand what's happening. I got it. I'm leaving as we agreed. Martha. You still here? Martha, you can join me, okay? Body camera. I, 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 it's gone. If I see it, I see it. Oh well. I just don't want to be. I, I, I have no tape. I have nothing back here. I'm sorry, everyone. I am not trying to uh, get out of this, but I feel as though I honored. They honored their word. I need to honor mine, and that's how this should be. So don't antagonize after giving me all of the answers I could ever want. Shot. Throw, kick, shot. The rain is picking up. Please no more threats, I understand, I'm leaving. Martha, follow me, okay? There's the white one, okay. Heart rate through the roof. I move things. Yes. Still let one of those things be me. Oh, wait. No. There's the red tape. Okay. Come on, dude, breathe. Breathe, dude, breathe. Come on, make you sick. Uh, uh, red tape, okay. Red tape, red tape. Huh. What are the lights? Uh, uh. The lights are how I see, how I get out of here. If you can see them, it means you can see me, right, Martha? Uh, this way, okay. Follow the lights, follow me. Killing. Killing. No. What are the lights? Oh, you're killing, yeah, yeah, one bar. Precisely on time. Please don't kill the lights. Please don't do that. This is not expected. Look, I come prepared with batteries. I come prepared with lights. Yeah, I only brought one flashlight. That was dumb. But all the other lights are getting cooked. Okay, we're at the rope. Oh, back's hurting now. My favorite place. Yes, I know. I know it's your favorite place. And I know you want me to see. And I know you're an elemental. I get it. Oh, my mouth is going so dry. I know. Oh, yeah, I had water. 
resembling. This sucks right now. Elton, you idiot. Elton, you absolute... Tape. Tape? Tape. Oh, fuck. Okay. I found it. Oh, body camera. Oh. Oh. Found it. I found it. We are delighted you're here. Thanks. My main fear about going alone was man, I've gotten sick before. Three investigations, really bad. The one, the worst one was Preston Castle. And I got so sick, I slept for 20 hours straight after. We missed the investigation we were supposed to do the next night because I couldn't wake up. I just remember falling asleep in the grass and then eventually crawling to the motorhome. And I guess the guys tried to wake me. And I just, I didn't remember any of it. I just remember waking up in the motorhome and no one was there. And it was night and it was the next night. You came back. I did come back. That's my biggest fear is if that happens again and I just pass out here. I don't know. Maybe smaller locations. Ones where people know where I am the next morning, but no one knows where I am in here right now. They know I'm here in the forest. They have absolutely no idea. Me. The attic. The attic. Martha, I'm just gonna set some things down, okay? I'm not leaving. Coming right back. All is well. Okay. Thank you. I'm not breaking my promise. Where the f is the spray? Oh, it's in here. It's in here. It wasn't there. Oh no. Oh no. I put it in here. Oh no. I know I put it in here. What the fuck? It fell out? Oh no. It fell out. I don't want to go way back in. fell all the way out when I was packing the kid up. I have to go all the way back in. Oh. This is my another flashlight. Oh man. I have to go all the way back. I have to do it. I have to go all the way back in now. This sucks. I have to go find it. I, it had to have fallen out. It was in the box. So it had to have fallen out when I was packing up the box. Jeez, dude, I gotta go back like two miles in right now. And I can't lose that spray either. That was a gift. And it was meant for all of us to use at the end of the trip. After our final investigation in Japan, we're supposed to purify ourselves with it. So it's not just for me or Martha, it's for everyone else. Jerry, Evan, Ginger, Corbin, we all need it. Whatever is here is not gonna be happy about this elemental I don't know what else to call you so by saying that I'm not being disrespectful I know you told me to leave not to antagonize it's not my intention here although I am sure you're not going to be very happy about me trying to 
help free a spirit from here. And you said you take souls. But I have to do this. It is crazy how far back I have to go. I took the vest off because how much I was sweating. And yeah, it's 40 degrees and raining. I should be freezing cold. Here's the worst part. Because they don't have the vest. I have none of the devices to know what it's trying to communicate. Which I guess, if I can't hear its threats, not scary. All the last things it said were throw, kick, shot. You know, all things you want to hear from an elemental negative entity that refers to Satan as its children. Man, if I go all the way back there and it's not there. Oh boy. I know where it is because it's the second clear cling wrap ribbon. Whew. Distracting myself from feeling terrible. Now I want to sing again. I don't know why. I feel like when I started singing that time, it kind of like doled away all the negative. Hey, little Sadie, if you are here, bud, can you negotiate right now? That'd be really cool. If you can negotiate ceasefire, oh, almost tripped again. If you can negotiate some kind of a, of a stall here, a bit of a truce for the next half hour so I can get in there, grab and get out, okay, bud? I'm gonna keep singing. And you negotiate, okay? Let me know what the terms are. But as far as I know, I'm going in to grab this and I'm leaving immediately. Why uh, uh, uh. oh, is the first song that just popped in my head right now? We're not gonna make it. But in my head it was, we're not gonna make it. That was the first thing that actually just popped in my head that was a real song. It was, we're not gonna make it. You're not gonna make it. You're not gonna make it anymore. That's not good. Why is it in my head? Come on, Sadie. Negotiate for me. Oh, it's getting heavier right now. Let's go. Uh, uh, here. Yeah. Okay. Wait, wait there. Right. 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 It was a white, a clear, clear rope somewhere. Further? I don't remember going this far. I don't remember going this far. <gasps> Found it. Oh my God. Mm. Mm. Oh. oh my God. I fucking found it. Thank you, Sadie. Keep stalling, bud. Keep stalling. Oh, I feel like I'm getting a fever. Woo. I feel like when you know you're gonna get sick, and you just feel like your body get really hot and cold, and like cold sweats, that's happening right now. Oh, I feel so horrible. Keep thinking, keep thinking. Hey Sadie. How long have you been with me, huh? Kinda feels like my whole life you've been with me, you know? Kinda always 
felt like I had a little devil on my shoulder as long as I can remember. If any of you have been watching this channel, well, not even this channel, TFIL. If you've been watching TFIL long enough, you probably saw the uh, first like abandoned video we did, the, uh, the abandoned mall. <laughs> and if you remember that video, you remember that my dumb <laughs> left like the GoPro and then and then an SD card fell out of my pocket. Like I left the GoPro on my back, and then when I got that, I dropped like an SD card on my ankle. SD card. Yeah, it feels like almost exactly what just happened here. I couldn't remember where the where I lost the GoPro. Oh yeah. And then instead of the footage, it was the spray, the promise. Life feels weird right now. Oh. Oh. I feel so good right now. Oh, that feels so good right now. It feels like the complete opposite of back pain just happened. Like just a full release just happened on my back right now. Holy shit, that feels incredible. Oh my God. It feels like this soothing, like just cold breeze. It's just on my neck, my back, and like my arms. I don't know what that was, but that was great. Feels like someone pulled like all of the stress that I've ever had in my entire life out of my body. And just, I just wanna like wanna walk like this right now. Martha, was that you? Martha was the lady in white. Yeah. That one seems not connected. It feels like the lady in the white is like a projector here. Martha, you here? Yeah? Okay. Just making sure. We're almost to the edge, okay? Almost to the edge. Yep. Okay. This is the spray, okay? Right into the air. And all of this is supposed to be able to purify you and let you leave. I hope it works.
hearing bangs on the passenger door. So I kind of leave the area. I don't know what that was, but I heard two. Another one later. I'm just gonna drive slow because I really just want to sleep right now. I just wanna get home right now. Soaking wet. I did not realize that at all. So right now, oh, my lips are so dry. It's skin. It's peeling off right now. Yeah. Gotta be honest. Oh. Okay. We're back. We did it. We made it. Whoa, big deer. Oh my God. Massive deer. Holy shit. Holy shit. Last turn. Huge deer, huge antlers. Wow. Right in the corner of the road. Any more? Oh my God, I just got so close. Hating that deer. Just, you're right, I gotta drive up from like the road looking. house. I'm the only one in this house because everyone already left.
Okay. Okay. We did it. I really felt like if I was going to stay in that parking lot any longer, those knocks were Martha. But the promise was get to the exit and I help her break free, and that was it. Take a breather. Happy birthday. Thanks. Look who's filming. Look who's filming my birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> Is this what you wanted? Yeah. To be at a spooky Nazi ghost hotel? And we almost got arrested earlier. <laughs> earlier today Don't we went to a... Tell that. Don't tell my mom. Oh, earlier today. What is this video coming out? Oh, actually, this video out in three days. Huge spoiler. <laughs> this video probably won't come out till like December. Oh, yeah. yeah we almost got arrested at a different location earlier this day. On your birthday. On my birthday. Okay, well, I got to film one more thing. So can you hold that real quick? Yeah. Okay. With all that being said, that's a very interesting way to end the video and then segue over to this. As promised in the beginning of the video, I said that I would address the situation at hand with where is Corey in the channel. Being entirely honest, this the night of Suicide Forest Part Three by myself when it was all over and I cooled down and the investigation end of things was over. I filmed something in the rental car that I was in. Uh, I ended up going on like a 60 minute rant. It was the very first time that I ever vocalized anything that I was feeling about what had happened. What happened was in January. So for nearly six months, I have been holding everything in and being completely honest with you, what I filmed that night should never go on the internet. It was extremely heated, uh, extremely emotional. I'm a very brutally honest vocal person and I feel like in this situation, this is the one time where I should really try and be balanced and respectful as I can given what was done to me. That's how I feel about it. So. I'm here on this trip now. I will be going home in about five days. When I get home in five days, I have already written out kind of a more organized way to discuss everything that happened. And I will do so, I will sit down, I will film it, and it'll be the next video that comes out on this channel. Um, it genuinely breaks my fucking heart uh, that all of you that have been watching this channel for years and years and years, and I don't even know how many hours of, of your life you've spent supporting us, that this is gone as if like, we're never gonna talk about it, Fuck that. You deserve to know. Um, so I'm gonna make sure that you do because I view you not as a viewer, but literally as a fucking friend who spends, you mean, you guys spend more time watching me than most of my friends spend. You understand what I'm saying. So I'm gonna do everything I can to be as fully transparent and clear cut and like no bullshit straight down the fact so i'm gonna sit down when i get home get you guys that video um just so you know and then that way uh that's your answer but yeah he won't be on the channel anymore um but again next video out will be that thing sorry not trying to be a wet blanket on this but i just want to address it but i also said in the beginning of the video i would address it now so here we go i'm, I'm ranting it doesn't matter anymore anyway thank you guys i i hope uh you stick around for that video to understand um, my perspective on things and uh, and just also know no matter what this channel's not going anywhere I've literally invested four years of my life uh, and, and and Ginger's life you've also been heavily part of it and all my best friends Evan has heavily invested everyone has put so much time and energy into this channel and I would never quit on any of them including I would never quit on you guys so don't think that this channel is going anywhere i'm just recalibrating we're figuring it out see you guys in the next video Aww, the give them a now. hug they want okay. a hug okay you get hugged now you get hugged now see this is exactly why i need bullets to like talk about the things i want to talk about because if not i'll just rant but then i'll get really heated and then angry so it's for everyone's benefit that i sit down I should wear a heart rate monitor when i do the video <laughs> and that way if my heart rate goes above like i don't know 185 then i should have to like take a breath and like Recalibrate yeah, what like I'm saying. Pet your dog for five minutes and yeah, then go back to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is why people have emotional support dogs. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anyways. Bye. I love you. I'll see you in the next video. Okay. Bye.